In this tutorial, I will show you how to deal with the terrain difficulty. It is usually recommended to start from the highest bank. Let's see what happens when it is not the case. Open the tutorial scene, as shown in the first tutorial. In the hierarchy tab, unfold the markers object, then double click on B1. Zoom out to see both B1 and B2. In the menu bar, click on Tools, then on 3D World in Seconds, then on New Stone Bridge. A new menu has appeared in the scene view. Click on Add Point. Draw the start point on B2, on the right, then the end point on B1. Please, draw these points with accuracy if you use the prototyping version. Go to the Inspector tab. If you own the prototyping version, check the Tutorial Bridge checkbox. Let all the default options as is, and scroll down to click on the Generate Bridge button. A warning message is displayed about a possible lip. We will go on as usual, and see what it is about. Go to the Hierarchy tab to select B1 and B2. Go to the Inspector tab to uncheck them in order to hide them. In the Hierarchy tab, Select the FPS character, then scroll down the Inspector tab to locate the Character Position component. In the Bridges list, choose New Stone Bridge and click on the Go to the Selected Bridge button. Click on the Play button. Move your character toward the other end of the bridge. You see that there is a small hill on each side. We will see how to solve this issue. Stop the play mode, then do several Ctrl Z until the bridge generation is cancelled. With the stone bridge selected, go to the Inspector tab and check the Remove Bank Lip checkbox. You must then specify a removal distance. Don't worry, it is partially automatic, and the proposed value is generally the right one. Click on the Get Value Recommendation button and accept the proposed value. Then generate the bridge again. Hide B1 and B2 markers again, then start the play mode.
As you can see, the lips have disappeared. This tutorial is now finished. I hope that you have enjoyed it. See you again in another tutorial.